Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, and for today's video and project, I've got a elemental hit, Deadeye Wanda. Now, the idea behind the character was to utilize the new barrage, not that new, but uh, still relatively new, the new barrage passive on Deadeye that has far shot in it and makes your barraging projectiles go in a straight line. So I wanted to utilize that, uh, so I wanted to go Ellie hit Wanda with a bunch of um, barraging rather than like alternating and just single hits and elemental equilibrium style. So as you can see here, we are barraging, we are firing off uh, one of three random elements every single hit. And then I've also got a spell slinger with sniper's mark going off so that all of my main targets will be uh, sniper marked and thus we don't have to rely on um, non-barraging clear through something like GMP, chain, etc. Instead we have barrage plus chain going off and then the um, spell slinger that carries the clear with the elemental hit doing the little overlap area explosions as well. Now to begin with in the build though, I actually started out with Ice Spear as a spell slinger as well because I thought that I was scaling all kinds of generic spell damage, projectile damage, crit multi, that I should have a spell slinger Ice Spear at the same time. And that's uh, what's happening in the clip back here. So basically something like 70 to 80% of my damage was Ellie hit and then about maybe 20% was this uh, spell slinger Ice Spear. Uh, I got to like level 92 with that setup and then I decided to just strictly focus on elemental hit and I got rid of the ice spear uh, in favor of just plain going in for hit damage with elemental hit and from then onwards um, I changed a little bit in my setup to only do elemental hit and boy howdy is it a nice build and clear at this point of the character. Uh, there is a few, you know, intricate pieces to put together, I'd say, so it's not going to be a starter build, and it's not going to be the cheapest thing in the world. We're talking like 5 to 10x of investment should get you pretty far. Um, but once it comes together, it's pretty goddamn fun, and the clear is really nice, the damage is pretty good. We should, by the end of the character, have about 10 million single target. That's currently what I'm rolling, but uh, still figuring out my actual single target as to how I'm doing it, whether it's incorporating chain and hydrosphere or just pure um, hypothermia and a little bit of a single target swap. But at the moment, I'm not swapping anything and just shooting around with this barrage setup. And as you can see with the chains, with the um, sniper mark, it's actually not too shabby for uh, a lot of content, including ultimatum. Though we can clear ultimatums by just taking barrage out as well and then having a big wave of GMP targets um, just being chained back and forth and all that shit too. So you can take this wander in a completely different direction, this sort of a template, and also do elemental equilibrium and alternating hits. Uh, you could even eliminate one of the elements if you really want because they're not particularly necessary. Uh, they're not, you know, strictly doing anything specific in their own right, but we are making use of Trinity, so you need at least two elements for Trinity. Uh, and then on top of that, I do um, try to scale a lot of projectiles, so I think I've got eight or nine barrage projectiles. Uh, so you could get rid of a lot of the, uh, sorry, you could get rid of a lot of those projectiles. You could use an Admiral chest if you want for pure elemental equilibrium action. Uh, with this type of a setup, you could do a lot of different things with this. And Ellie hit Wander is something I wanted to do last league, but never got around to. So making it um, this league and as a Deadeye, which um, is actually turning out really nicely, at least in my opinion, having a lot of fun with this setup so far and uh, doing my best to fine tune the character to a point where it's really nicely presentable because I think it should be an absolute winner that um, could very well be something I could point you in the direction of when you ask for a wanding build. Uh, not sure what else to say at the moment for the character. It's pretty much still just getting some stuff figured out. This was a test I did on single target against uh, only one conqueror is all I've done thus far since I've just been leveling up. Uh, like I said, Hydrosphere, not too sure if we use that because in theory, I think if you do have Hydrosphere next to the enemy and then using chain it might increase your single target but at the same time we might just want to swap out for hypothermia and then have a pure six link single target instead 
We'll see how that goes, but um, still a bit of work to be done. We'll be doing some end game today. So far so good though, and I wanna show you how I've built the character up till now. So here we are with the current character level 92 dead iron called High Before Noon. Um, bit of a story there, I suppose. It's hard to see with all the uh, current graphics and bullshit going on on my character, but if we uh, strip him down a bit more, you can see that essentially the entire reason I wanted to do this barrage uh, little playstyle with our Wanda is because the dead eye looks pretty specific with the animation on barrage wanding and it just kind of looked like she was really wand slinging but at the same time shooting a gun so that's just a very sort of unique I think um, graphic or animation for um, a character for casting stuff so this is with wands and with barraging and it has to be on a ranger so when I was messing around with that I decided yep want to make uh, some sort of wander incorporating barrage and um, then it kind of looked gun themed in the end on stream and then um, so we were going to say it's high noon but that was taken so we're high before noon uh, so that's basically the theme there for the uh, character and uh, why it is what it is um, I won't put everything back on how about just that uh, so it's based around Ellie hit as I mentioned and um, with Ellie hit you got three different elements you can choose to eliminate a couple of them but otherwise you rotate between those so you should be able to notice that sometimes cold sometimes lightning sometimes fire uh, trinity only needs two different elements to be up at all times but we are utilizing all three regardless because uh, we didn't really want to or need to use a jewel to eliminate any of those elements just yet um, and then on top of that um, you kind of want more ailments on the enemies because 10% more damage per ailment so the more elements we incorporate um, across the board on the enemy the more damage we're going to have and utilizing um, secrets of suffering the small cluster here that gives you uh, critical strikes inflict scorch brittle and sapped uh, since we can no longer um, ignite chill freeze or shock uh, we still get those three other ailments which are pretty powerful for crit or um, elemental penetration for our well, lowering en enemy resists uh, we still get chill and shock from uh, skitterbots so in total we have five ailments up on enemies most of the times so that's quite a lot of extra damage for an ellie hit build and uh, that's kind of how i've decided to go with things on this character so we've also got barrage and then chain and that's essentially what a lot of our clear is doing right now uh, barraging sniper's mark and chain and you can see the sniper's mark is attached to spell slinger so that's currently what's happening right there uh, we then got our skitter bots that just have a bit of extra area as the quality and we are based around the dead eye ascendancy using far shot so we want to stand fairly far back when we attack things projectiles have no spread and a lot more damage to the targets if we're further back we then use two additional projectiles since we are all of a sudden barrage the more projectiles we have the more damage we're going to have uh, using tailwind and then also the increased effect for our mark so with this node sniper's mark becomes incredibly powerful uh, enemies should have what like 70 percent increased damage from projectile hits and then an additional um, seven splits from each of your little barrage things you can then chain it up you can also if you just want for even more clear speed and stuff take the little chain node uh, run awaken chain and then things get really crazy uh, and it wouldn't be too much of a loss not having endless munitions As a matter of fact I could check right now um, yeah look it's a decent little hit to our damage but um, you could over gear it still or just build the character much more for clear if you really want and then um, have the additional chain stuff and then you probably don't even really have to have the barrage nodes to be fair um, you could build it like I said more of a elemental equilibrium based character and then have lots of alternating uh, attacks and resist pluses minuses and shit like that in any case I've tried to build the character kind of localized to the ranger area so they can get lots of jewel sockets and then just um, stack crit multi that way pretty much all of my jewels at the moment are supposed to be multi-purpose for ice spear and elemental hit so you can see it's cold and elemental damage and since we are using crown of eyes all of my spell damage will be applying to ice spear but also to elemental hit at a greater rate 
So I originally had Ice Spear in mind, that's why we have Spell Slinger Helm Enchant, which currently does nothing for me. Um, and that's no longer relevant, so you can get a much better jewels now, since um, Elemental Hit can do Fire, Cold, Lightning, Elemental, all that kind of shit. Um, but I tried to get a lot of jewels, and that's kind of why we've localized around here. And there's lots of life notes to go if we really want. I'm only at 5400 at the moment, I'm still working on some of my gear, but um, that's what we're at. And it's enough since we are a very fast um, playstyle of character, do plenty of damage and have a bunch of uh, dodge evasion shit like that. And I might still go for Wind Dancer as well. But um, currently, yep, Crown of Eyes. So with the spell damage I have on a wand, for example, it's got like 130 spell damage or so. Uh, that means Crown of Eyes amplifies that by 1.5 uh, for attack damage. Likewise, with a shield, just grab a basic shield that's got a bunch of spell damage. This one also has life and int, and I wanted a spare suffix so that you could um, put the double damage focus on there. And ideally, we could do that with one of these ones as well. But you can't really realistically expect to get penetration and then have a craft on there of double damage yourself. It's going to be pretty tough to do. It's going to involve either a hunter wand or an ashling um, tier 4 slam. Uh, so that's pretty tough stuff. And otherwise, this is still much better than a Piscator's. So a wand simply just with some good attack speed, a little bit of spell damage, going to be much better than a Piscator's. But you can start out with a Piscator's if you really want just to uh, simplify things. Um, so other than that, I wanted a chest just for a bit of additional curse, frenzy on hit. Not that important to get the additional curse anymore. I thought it would be because I wanted to run Assassin Mark and Sniper Mark completely foregoing um, the fact that you can only have one mark on the enemy. So I already made this chest uh, and then realized I couldn't do that. So we put on Ellie Weakness, though I don't think it's going to be doing that much for our build since um, it's pretty weak against bosses and we've already got a bunch of penetration elsewhere. But it's not bad either way. Uh, we then have Frenzy on hit just to maintain our three frenzies. So I just awaken orbed um, the frenzy and the additional curse together. Happen to get this. Still can put some resist and stuff on there, and uh, hopefully that helps figure out the um, survivability of the build a bit more. Uh, running a elder hunter ring. So like I said before, the you know whole curse fiasco could have just run with an elder ring. Uh, could have run some Ellie Weakness gloves if we re really wanted as well. Uh, but we do need an Elder Ring here to make use of Mark of the Shaper because that gives us like 150 or more attack damage. It's pretty damn good for Crown of Eyes sort of setup. Uh, so in total, I've got an insane amount of damage coming in from Crown of Eyes. If you want to have a look at the calculation here, uh, currently about 10 or 11 million DPS, right? We have 760% damage and you can see that the... Uh, Wand gives us 150, the um, shield's 150, Mark of the Shape is 150. That's all Crown of Eyes spell damage scaling right there. Pretty big stuff. Um, same boots as always, though I want some elusive boots, so I'm trying to craft those. Uh, belt with just a bit of reduced flask and a couple of resists and stuff, nothing special there. Uh, picked up an amulet that had plus one and some crit multi, and then really wanted to have a bunch of stats on there since filling out int and uh, strength is a little bit of a pain. Strength not so much anymore, but mostly int was kind of annoying. So you can get any amulet with plus dexterity, uh, fire, cold, lightning. I went with cold because I wanted ice spear as well, uh, but gem levels are pretty good for uh, early hit. So that's kind of what we're trying to do. And I only just then put on a level 21. The rest of the video has a level, sorry, I didn't even put a 21, 20. Um, rest of the video is level 19 Ellie hit, but there is still work to be done there for gains. Uh, and then up until the last hour of yesterday's stream, I was actually running these gloves for my ice spear. So I went pretty hard to try and make this spell slinger ice spear work. These are two exalt gloves, but they were very specific to my sort of little setup. So I had uh, ice spear over here um, with the spell slinger setup. Control Destruction and Empower. So it was a level 28 Ice Spear, I think, uh, combined with that. And um, even with that, it was still only like 10 to 20% of my damage. So instead, just decided to redivert my efforts to full Ellie Hit um, and then get a glove that was more Ellie Hit specific. So crit against shocked enemies, a bit more attack speed, 
uh, and attack speed while focused and then a bit of life and resist and stuff. And that's what we've got going there. A lot easier to get than these gloves as well. Um, so yeah, the setup is currently Skitterbots, Bellslinger with our um, Sniper Mark. It's a very nice setup for um, sing uh, sort of big clear and for single target. Absolutely loving that one. Um, then also got a Precision just for a bunch of extra accuracy. Running a Hydrosphere because I'm trying to test it out with chains and stuff and seeing if that works out for single target bouncing. Otherwise, it's not necessary. Uh, we then have Arcane Surge, Second Wind, Duration, and Frost Bomb. So that's just, um, just was mostly for Ice Spear, but now it's for the cold portion of the skill as well as giving us, um, I don't know, Arcane Surge, which doesn't do anything anymore. So it's a bit of a limp thing that we don't need that much. Uh, we then have Arcane Surge, Second Wind, and Flame Dash over here. Once again, the Arcane Surges were mostly for the Ice Spear, so they're less important now, but still relevant, I suppose. Uh, we then have Blood Rage, Faster Attack, Fortify, and Shield Charge. And Blood Rage, I haven't been using ever since I got the Frenzy on hit, but when we want to go single target, an extra 20% attack speed uh, will be somewhat useful. Uh, the Jewel down here, just a bunch of accuracy and a um, bit of attack speed and life. And I think that's pretty much everything I can say about that. Um, all of my jewels are crit multi and a bit of spell damage and as well as that some attack speed with wands. A lot of them are pretty damn good. They weren't too expensive because they were pretty niche for me. But um, hopefully you can find relatively cheap ones if you combine like fire and cold multis, that sort of stuff. And that's the main idea for the build, trying to get a lot of jewels in the build. Uh, though there is still plenty of optimizing I'm looking at. The passive tree might need to be reworked. Maybe it's not worth doing some of the stuff I did or some of the travel. Uh, like this doesn't feel good, but it kind of still makes sense. And I do still need to figure out some accuracy. So hopefully when I got the end game version of the build up for you, uh, it'll be a finely tuned, well oiled machine and something you can very much uh, trust and copy to make a good wander. For now though, hope you enjoyed the little preview and uh, build of an Ellie hit Deadeye. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.